Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, bringing you all the exciting action of the Jaguar Football Program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Louisiana Lottery, Cox Communications, Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana, the Communities of Color Network for a Tobacco-Free Louisiana, McLean Financial Group, and Jerry Lane, Buick, and GMC. Jaguar football show with coach Dawson Odoms. We come to you for the 2013 season from Le Bon Temps Bar and Grill located at 8342 Perkins Road. It's a beautiful place. They got great food. We invite you to come out in the neighborhood of 7 o'clock on Monday nights and come and check us out as we shoot the show. Get a chance to visit and say hello to coach and visit with a lot of good Jaguar fans. Coach, like we always do, we come on about six times a week, which is really good for the Jaguar Nation. We come on Monday nights at 9 o'clock on Cox 4, Saturdays at 5 on Cox 4. We come on Cox Sports Television Wednesdays at 5.30, and we come on Cox, um, Pelican Sports TV on Cox 113 on Monday and Tuesday at 9.30, and then also on Thursday at 8 o'clock, and it's also streamed at those times. New for this year, we're going to have the Alpha Media BR YouTube channel that will have the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odom. So you got a bunch of ways to catch us over the air, over the Internet, streaming. Uh, we're all on the world, world Wide Web. Coach, we're everywhere. So that's a great thing, and we look forward to having the Jaguar Nation and football fans in general follow the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, before we jump into it this year, of course, we want to say welcome to you and ask you, how was your summer, and how did everything go for you during your little soft period? Well, it was great. You know, I think we, we, got, we accomplished what we wanted to during the summer. Uh, really got the guys in summer school working hard for this season. Uh, got a chance to take some time off and vacation a little bit. It was exciting, you know, I had a great time to look back and, and look at the blessings in my life and, and look at moving this football team forward. So it was an exciting summer for me. Talking about players on the recruiting trail, did we get the kids that we needed either via recruiting or transfer, you feel? Yes, I think we feel some voids, especially at rod receiver losing uh, Mike Berry and Charles Hawkins, who were very productive. I really think we did a great job there against some transfers. Uh, and that's about the only position that, other than running back, where we picked up some transfers. The nucleus of our football team is juniors and seniors, and we, we're happy to have the, uh, so many guys coming back. So it's an exciting team, and we look forward to this fall. Coach, I know we got a lot of new assistant football coaches. When I came out to catch a scrimmage, I saw some new faces. And so we want to put up some of their faces so people can get to know who your staff is this year. So for this year, uh, I know that Chad Germany is your offensive coordinator. Who's your defensive coordinator? Well, we're going to do it by a committee. Uh, Laura Atkinson, uh, Marty Biaggi, and, and Myron Jackson, Lana Mitchell will all help me. Uh, work together to put together the best defensive game plan possible. Okay, there's a picture of Coach Germany. Exactly. Uh, and if we'll go on to that next picture, uh, who else we got on our uh, uh, coaching staff? There's uh, that's Chinis Berry. Chinis Berry, where is he from, Coach? Uh, Chinis Berry is from originally from Cleveland, Ohio. Probably one of the better offensive line coaches in the country. I'm excited to have him on our staff. Okay. And our next coach is uh, Chris Coleman. That's my hometown kid. You know, Chris Coleman, me and him both from the same hometown. Was an outstanding player at NC State, played some of the NFL. Really wanted to get a good teacher at that wide receiver position, and he's one of those guys. Coach, I think I met him yesterday racing go-karts. Did he tell you he went race go-karts <laughs> No, yesterday? he did. Okay, well, he's not, not that guy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> who's our next coach here? Elvis, Elvis Joseph. Joseph. Yeah, a a long great time. southern running back. Exactly. Been in the program for a while. You know, got the longest tenure on the staff, excellent uh, teacher at the running back position. Um, I'm hoping he can produce a thousand yard rusher this year. Okay, and we got uh, Justin Poindexter. Come from us from the, uh, he was working in the Big Ten, graduated from Howard, uh, very good with tight ends and, and video, so outstanding young man. Okay, uh, let's see who else we got there. That's Lionel Mitchell. Okay. You know, he's assistant secondary coach. Uh, really going to be a great young coach in the, in the profession. You know, does an outstanding job teaching those young guys. I see he cut those dreads off. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. All right. Do we got anybody else? 
Laura Atkinson, okay. a guy from uh, me and him worked together at Gardner Webb and, you know, got a 3-4 background, does an excellent job with our linebackers, excited to have him on staff. All right. And then we got Marty Biaggi. Marty's a holdover. You know, he was worked with special teams last year. He's going to work with the secondary this year and also be the special team coordinator. Exciting young man, just great to work with. All right, well, it looks like uh, Byron, Myron Byron Jackson. Jackson is a new face. Well, no, he's a holdover. He coached the D-line for us last year and uh, excited to have him. Me and him work together. With him. What you see on this staff is that I've either known these guys or worked with these guys in the past okay. and really understand what they can bring to the table. Cool, cool. All right, Reed Sanders. Our play, uh, his career got cut short due to injuries, but outstanding young man. He's one of our graduate assistants and also a graduate of Southern University. All right, well, there's Reed. Coach, looks like you got a good staff. All right, Coach, well, we're going to take a break right here, get in some commercials, pay some bills. But when we come back, we're going to talk about your offense, your defense, and look at the players for 2013 on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Stay with us. You want to get here? It's totally awesome. How about here? Wow. Well, it all starts with the Black and Gold Saints scratch-off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter our second chance drawings and you could win a 2013 Saints game day prize package, autograph Saints merchandise, or the fan experience of a lifetime. It's just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. Show your true colors with the Black and Gold Saints scratch-off from the lottery. is football, and you're looking at football's biggest fan. I sit close to the TV just so I can join the huddle. I know 38 mascots on a first-name basis, and I never miss a touchdown. Ready for football? Cox has over 700 pro and college games this season, and more games than ever before online and on your mobile device. Score 50% off NFL Red Zone when you bundle. I refuse to eat turnovers. Cox is football! When you fly with Baton Rouge Metro Airport, you'll see how we've been working hard to make things easier for you. Like the closest parking of any airport in its class, faster check-in, friendly, easygoing people to help you on your way, shorter security lines, quality shops and vending, and a team committed to safe and efficient operations so you can get back to what matters most to you. The next time you travel, keep it simple. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. A new dawn in Southern Athletics approaches. One measured by the relentless pursuit of academic excellence and athletic glory. There's just one thing missing from our Jaguar Jamboree. You. A Southern rebirth is firmly taking shape on the bluffs of the Mississippi. But to propel the Jaguar Nation to new heights, we need you. Because Southern deserves a, a nation, nation united. united. Welcome back to the Jaguar football show uh, with Coach Dawson Odoms. The 2013 season is a couple of days away. We play Friday at the U of H, uh, University of Houston Cougars uh, over at Reliance Stadium in Houston. So, of course, once you get your tickets and uh, come over and support the Jaguars. But before we do that, Coach, let's talk about our players and our personnel for this year. You've got some exciting offensive guys coming up. And uh, one of them is right there. Lee Doss, probably the best receiver in the SWAC last year. How exciting is it to have a guy like that to have on your team? Yeah, it's exciting. He's a preseason first team all conference performer. Uh, just have great hands, a special talent. We're just grateful to have him uh, part of the Southern Jaguars. Dre Joseph, the starting quarterback last year, the, the best passer in the SWAC last year. Uh, great kid. He seems to be a great leader. What, what kind of season are you expecting out of Dre? 
Well, I expect him to be a little bit better for us managing the game and just having a better understanding of uh, what we're trying to get done on offense. But he's an exceptional football player. This is a kid, a lot of hype has been around Coach Leonard Tillery, local kid, went to McKinley. I hear he's a really good running back. Tell us about him. Well, he's exciting, you know, a young man that's also good in the classroom. And when you put the two together, you get what we call a championship athlete. Exciting to have him at running back. Talk about exciting. I came out to watch a scrimmage, and this little guy, number 25, Willie Quinn, looks like he can be a show all by himself, Coach. Exactly. When you look at him, you think he probably was hanging out with the, the Brick Football League, you know. <laughs> but the guy really plays bigger than his size, an electrifying player. Of course, we need some guys up front to block. Dwayne Houston, offensive lineman. Talk to us about Dwayne. Well, he'll be an anchor at the offensive line, a guy that's really played a lot of snaps does a great job for his own blocking, and we're excited to have Dwayne Houston. Bradley Brown, junior wide receiver coach. Well, Bradley Brown's a transfer from uh, Lafayette who we, we were lucky to get, but an exciting football player who'll be in our graduate department. You know, I think he has some of the better hands at wide receiver. All right, well, there you go. That's some of the impact players that you'll see on offense. And of course, you can't have a football team without a defense. Coach, as I told you earlier, I came and saw a scrimmage and was really impressed by your defense. They play like crazed dogs. They talk a lot of stuff. They hit hard. And we want to show you some of those impact players on defense, starting with one of the stars from last year, uh, Virgil Williams. Probably one of the more electrifying players in the SWAT, you know. As a DBN returner, Virgil has some special talent, and we're excited to, to see him going into his senior year. Here's uh, Deontay McDuffie. Another transfer that we're able to get uh, from South Alabama, an exciting football player who will, who will definitely hit you, a callus back there in the secondary. Jonathan Mack. Uh, that's uh, really Otamali there. Um, but an exciting player that stands six foot six, a defensive end for us, who we're excited to have. Uh, an exciting linebacker I really enjoy watching play, Anthony Balancier. A returning senior uh, who once again was preseason first team. You know, just a guy that's played a lot of snaps and we're excited to have him on our football team. This is one of your mad men, Franchot West, <laughs> coach. I, 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 he's got to be one of your favorites. Well, you know, it, it depends on what day of the week it is, you know. <laughs> but Franchot West is a good football player, very okay. smart, and uh, we're glad to have him at our might linebacker. Another good one, D-Train Lindsay. This guy knocks the snot out of people, coach. Well, very fast and explosive. Probably when you look at him, you'll say, you know, he was put together with a chisel. He got muscles everywhere. Very explosive and very fast. Donald Phillips. A young man is coming to the zone. You know, he since he made that play at the Bayou Classic, uh, has really continued over the summer and all season to get better. Coach, I think uh, we run through all of them. Uh, is that Arthur Miley? We talked about him already. Yes, we? we did. Okay. Coach, you can't talk about a good football team without talking about special teams. Uh, who we got at kicker? Who we got at, who, who's also our return men? Well, I think our pun is uh, uh, Paul Randall Soden, who's a true freshman from Bainbridge, Georgia. Outstanding punter. We were happy to get him late uh, in the returning game. We have Virgil Williams, Jaleel Richardson, Bradley Brown to work in that area. And then at kicker, we got a true freshman from last year that's really gotten better, and that's uh, Greg Pittman, who I'm excited. The other day, he hit a 47-yard field goal at the top of the upright. So, you know, got a very strong leg, and we're excited to have those guys moving us forward. Well, when we come back, we'll talk about uh, the schedule this year, as well as talk about uh, who are, who've been our fall camp players of the week, the Cox players of the week. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Oldhams. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. 
To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Healthcare reform is bringing change, but one thing that won't change is our commitment to you. We're Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana. We're a not-for-profit company, and we work for you. And whatever changes come our way, you can count on us. Count on us to pay your claims. To answer your questions. To give you the service you deserve. You can count on us to be there when you need us. That's our promise to you. To get more answers on health care reform, visit us at bcbsla.com slash health care reform. You can count on Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the lane, get the lane. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odom. Each week in this segment, we'll have the Cox Players of the Week. Uh, Coach, for the sake of time, we're going to jump right into it. Talk to us about the Cox Players of the Week for fall camp. Who was the offensive player of the fall camp? Well, probably Dre Joseph, man. He's out in the standing fall camp. Didn't miss any practices. Really worked on his football game. How about on the defensive side? Detrain Lindsey had a very good, very good fall camp. It was surprising. They really improved, and it's just great to see him learn our system. And on the uh, special teams? Greg Pittman okay. came back in the camp, man. His leg was really strong and really had his mindset on becoming our kicker. Well, there you go, the Cox Players of the Week for fall camp. Coach, let's jump into the schedule. Uh, of course, we'll talk about Houston in our next segment uh, at length, but we travel to Northwestern to play the Northwest, to Natchitoches to play the Northwestern State Demons. Tell us what you know about the Demons. Well, you know, the exciting football team uh, got a new coaching st staff, and it's just exciting to see uh, in-state rival and getting a chance to go right off the road and having a great opportunity. We then play Prairie View Panthers at Mumford, the first home game, September 14th. Well, you know, this is be Highsmith, Northern Highsmith will be coming home. You know, a local product who well, I got a chance to know at, at SWAT Media Day. It'll be an exciting rivalry. Uh, I just think it'll be a great opportunity for us to get the conference kicked off with a home win. September 21st, we take our show on the road to Itabina, Mississippi, and take on the Mississippi Valley Delta Devils. Well, you know, a team that really shocked us last year, beating us six to nothing. So, you know, I'm quite sure we'll be excited going to Itabina and uh, erasing those memories. So, you know, we look forward to, to that challenge going up to Mississippi Valley State. Our probably one of our biggest SWAC rivals, Jay State, comes to Mumford September 28th. Talk to us about the, the Tigers this year, Coach. Well, you know, uh, Coach Cummins here had his team prepared. You know, I think we went up there and shot them last year, you know, about like Valley did us. So I think when you get a chance to see them coming into our stadium, I really think it'll be a packed house, be an electrifying environment. And, you know, I really think it's one of the better rivalries in college football. We've got an open date on October 5th. Then on October 12th, Coach, uh, Alabama A&M comes here. What do we know about the Bulldogs this year? Well, you know, their coach has the longest tenure in the conference, so he's done an outstanding job there of getting this team prepared to put, play week in and week out. Very physical football team. They love pounding the football in the running game, so it has been a tough test for us, but we'll be excited to have them on campus. October 19th, defending SWAC champ, UAPB Golden Lions at Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Well, you know, we haven't had much success against this team. Um, you know, we like to erase some of those bad memories. Uh, it's like every time we play them, it's, it's, some, it's small points and turning points in the game. So it's going to be exciting to just go to UAPB and kick it off against uh, the defending champs. Homecoming is October 26th against the Alcorn State Braves. A little payback time? Well, you know, we lost a tough one up there last year. Exactly. You know? And uh, I don't think that taste will be erased from my mouth. And I think that'll be a game that we'll be excited to play. And all the young men get up for homecoming. So it'll be a great opportunity to welcome the Braves to Mumford Stadium. On November 1, we play Texas Southern Tigers in Houston. Another Friday night game. Coach, how do you feel about the Friday night games? 
Well, you know, it, it really doesn't bother as much because you get an extra day to rest. You get off on Saturday, get a chance to practice on Sunday and uh, adapt your schedule a little bit. But it's exciting. You know, we have to take on those challenges. Uh, we, we don't dictate that. We just have to play the games when they tell us we got to play them. After TSU, we take a trip up to Montgomery and play Alabama State. What do we know about State this year? Probably one of the most talented teams in the conference. You know, top to bottom, you know, they, they possess one of the um, – toughest and better running backs that we'll face and also I think they're very good on defense got a new defensive coordinator so just a lot of talent on this football team it's been exciting challenges for the Jaguars on November 16th Clark Atlanta comes to Mumford one of your old scops tell us about Clark well you know it'd be a division two school coming to town uh, I did coach there and uh, had some success there but you know we understand that that's a, a game that that we should be favored in and we're excited to welcome Clark Atlanta to Mumford Stadium and, and let them know that we do play uh, football south of Georgia. So it'd be great to bring <laughs> Clark Atlanta onto Mumford Stadium. Of course, we end the year at Grambling with the Bayou Classic. They went 110 last year. What do you expect of them this year? Well, you know, does go have them better. You know, you go through those ups and downs as coaches and as, as football teams and traditions. You know, you can't stay on the top all the time. But it's exciting to play that football game. And I know uh, Coach Williams will have his football team ready to go. When we come back, We'll look into the University of Houston and talk about them for a little bit. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Alders. You want to get here? This is totally awesome. How about here? Wow. Well, it all starts with a black and gold Saints scratch-off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter our second chance drawings and you could win a 2013 Saints game day prize package, autographed Saints merchandise, or the fan experience of a lifetime. It's just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. Show your true colors with the black and gold Saints scratch-off from the lottery. is football and you're looking at football's biggest fan i sit close to the tv just so i can join the huddle i know 38 mascots on a first name basis and i never miss a touchdown ready for football cox has over 700 pro and college games this season and more games than ever before online and on your mobile device score 50 percent off nfl red zone when you bundle i refuse to eat turnovers cox is football when you fly with Baton Rouge Metro Airport, you'll see how we've been working hard to make things easier for you. Like the closest parking of any airport in its class, faster check-in, friendly, easygoing people to help you on your way, shorter security lines, quality shops and vending, and a team committed to safe and efficient operations so you can get back to what matters most to you. The next time you travel, keep it simple. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. A new dawn in Southern Athletics approaches. One measured by the relentless pursuit of academic excellence and athletic glory. There is just one thing missing from my Jaguar Jamboree. You. A Southern rebirth is firmly taking shape on the bluffs of the Mississippi. But to propel the Jaguar Nation to new heights, we need you. Because Southern deserves a, a nation, nation united. united. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, we have gotten with the times. Social media, the Jaguar Football Show on Facebook page. Please go to it, like it, and each week we're going to ask a question, the Jaguar question of the week, and if your question is asked, you will win two tickets to the next Southern football game. The question this week comes from Missy Dixon, and Coach, she wants to know, do you feel with two games on the road start the season, do you feel additional pressure to perform early in the season, and what measures can you take to ensure we don't start off like we did last year? 
But no, I don't feel any pressure. It's always the goal, is the objective, is to win. So, you know, I think we're trying to prepare this football team to get off to the best start possible, and we're going to do that to the best of our ability. So there's not any pressure. We understand the bottom line is just win. Coach, talk to us a little bit about U of H. Good team. What you hearing about them? Very, very, very explosive, very fast, very skillful guys that can run with after the catch, that can run the football. A quarterback that played last year that can really throw the football. Defensively, got a new defensive coordinator uh, who I know I interned with him when I was with the Houston Texans. Uh, we'll have his football team prepared. Look like they go base out of a 4-3, but there'll probably be multiple. A solid football team. Very good. When we come back, we're going to wrap up this week's edition of the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odom. Stay with us. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Healthcare reform is bringing change, but one thing that won't change is our commitment to you. We're Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana. We're a not-for-profit company, and we work for you. And whatever changes come our way, you can count on us. Count on us to pay your claims. To answer your questions. To give you the service you deserve. You can count on us to be there when you need us. That's our promise to you. To get more answers on health care reform, visit us at bcbsla.com slash health care reform. You can count on Jerry Lane. At Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. Jerry Lane. You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the line, get the line. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show. And as we wrap up this week's co show, Coach, of course, we want to wish you luck in Houston. We'll be there Friday to see what the Jaguars do. And, of course, we want everybody to tune in uh, and go to the Jaguar Football Show Facebook page. and You can get all the times that the show will be coming on this year, as well as where you can catch it streaming, as well as the Alpha Media BR YouTube page. Coach, of course, as we do each year, we want to say what? Go Jags! Go Jags.